And I do believe that we have rotten, rotten politics. And I'm, I'm not using that as an exaggeration. Hey, everyone, and welcome. In this video, we're going to be having a look at the lying EU. Lying to you while doing something completely different. Now, as you're probably aware, the EU leaders have all agreed on a severe sanctions against Russia amid the Ukraine inv invasion. And this is going to be quite extensive, according to their own words. The EU leaders gathered for an emergency summit Thursday agreed to punish Russia for its invasion of Ukraine. Not actually done anything yet though, have they? With severe sanctions targeting its financial, energy and transport sectors. Now, as you're probably aware, the EU has been on a green drive and has subsequently got rid of a lot of its power capabilities, i.e. nuclear power plants, France and Germany. So they are completely reliant on, are we ready for this? Russian gas. So they're actually saying in one hand to all of us people that they're going to be agreeing on severe sanctions, while while at the same time realising that they are subservient to Russia for gas and it's massively ramped up prices on the supplies that they are getting and reduced it significantly. Apparently the EU are reliant on 40% of its power supply comes from the gas and oil from Russia. So who holds the cards in this argument I would like to say. If they're saying to us that they're going to be putting severe sanctions on wouldn't that mean that Putin will do exactly the same thing to the EU? i.e. cut off the gas and oil and make them suffer. Absolutely ridiculous. So they're actually going and begging to Russia now, the EU, and beg them that, to let them buy more gas off Russia, even during, even during the invasion, apparently, of the Ukraine. Now this is on the back of Zelensky, the, the president of the Ukraine, effectively saying that the West and the EU and NATO had deserted them and no one was coming to their aid. Welcome to the world of globalism, Mr. Zelensky. I'm afraid to say this. You thought that globalism meant that you are going to be protected and everyone's going to be all lovey, lovey and friendly and friendly. Not so, is it? It's actually a Ponzi scheme. It's a pyramid scheme. And you're at the bottom. Guess who's at the top? Exactly. Absolutely ridiculous that they start telling everybody that they're going to be putting sanctions on while begging the Russians for more gas because they don't have the capabilities to power themselves. Before I go, though, everyone, let's have a little bit of dark humor this is putin talking to angela merkel at the eu and this joke that he said oh the reaction he got was priceless as i'm sure you'll find this hilarious as i did pay attention to merkel herself anecdotes on can be used on this how not to act during the first bride night the result should be the same you understand But let me know what you think. I'd like to know your opinion on this. Putin's got them over a barrel at this point, in my honest opinion. But we'll see how it goes. Stay sane. I'll see you on the next one.